animals. Mm -hmm. And I love vegetables. I hate broccoli. I want to talk to you guys about vegetables really quick because I don't know about you, but me personally, I get asked all the time from people who don't really know me very well whether I eat a lot of vegetables. And a lot of times they just assume, they're like, hey, you're a fitness coach, you must eat lots of vegetables and fruits, and you must be super conscious of that, and you must never eat burgers or pizza or ice cream or anything. And I'm like, I eat a lot of vegetables, but that's not the reason why I'm able to stay lean. And so that's exactly what this video is about today. A lot of people think if I eat more healthy foods or I eat more vegetables or fruits, I will be leaner. Or I will lose more weight. And that is not the case. It is not a, if I do this, then that happens. But I will explain to you today exactly how you do lose weight and what role vegetables should play in your nutrition regimen. First off, let's set the record straight. You don't lose weight by eating more healthy foods. You you lose weight by eating the right amount of food for your body. So we're talking calories and macronutrients. So vegetables, for example. For the most part, vegetables, they do have a little bit of protein, a little bit of fats, but for the most part, they're a carbohydrate. And in general, vegetables don't have a lot of calories. So when you think about incorporating them into your diet, you can eat a lot of vegetables and still not consume many calories, which is great because they're very high in micronutrients, which are vitamins and minerals, and low in macronutrients, such as carbohydrates, and especially fats and proteins. So when you're eating vegetables, you're just factoring them into your total daily intake, but that doesn't mean you can't eat other foods or you have to eat vegetables every day, but there is a very specific purpose for consuming vegetable, veggies, vegetable, veggies. The reason why you wanna eat vegetables and fruits and other high quality whole foods is because they're high in micronutrients. And so what a micronutrient is, is either a vitamin or a mineral. For example, let's look at broccoli. Everybody loves broccoli, right? If you put enough sauce on it, everybody loves broccoli. Broccoli is high in a lot of different micronutrients. Specifically though, it's very high in vitamin K. And vitamin K is known to help us with bone density, bone strength, and overall heart health. Also, it's high in vitamin C, and we know that vitamin C is very good for immune function. So we can look at all different types of vegetables and break them down one by one and realize that each one serves a different purpose. It helps with your normal body function in a different way. Does that mean you have to eat all the vegetables in every day? No, but that's why it's important to consume 70% whole foods. So in a span of a week or so, you are eating a good amount of vegetables in your diet and you don't really have to worry about eating pizza and ice cream and the other things that you do like because you know you're balancing it out with the veggies that you're consuming otherwise in the 70% of the food you're consuming on a daily basis. So here's the deal. What you need to do with vegetables, your responsibility on a daily basis should be to eat around five portions. So that doesn't mean you have to go eat a bunch of different vegetables on one day. You could just eat a lot of broccoli or a lot of salad. But in general, to maintain healthy, normal function in the body, we recommend trying to consume around five servings of vegetables a day. And let's say you don't get it one day, don't worry about it. You can spread this out over the course of a week. And let's say you're traveling, you're not able to get your normal vegetable intake what you can do is consume something like athletic greens. It's something we've talked about a lot in this channel because it helps us personally. It's not a vegetable replacement, but think about it this way. Each serving of athletic greens is equivalent to 12 servings of vegetables. So if you, for some reason, are traveling, you can't get nutritious whole food vegetables in your diet, you can replace it for that one day with a scoop of athletic greens. Or maybe one day you're able to get a salad and you know earlier in the day, but you're not able to consume any other vegetables after that you know, consume another scoop of Athletic Greens in addition to that to help you get your micronutrient numbers where you want them to be. Another reason you might want to use Athletic Greens on a daily basis, even if you do get your other vegetables in, is because Athletic Greens is highly dense in micronutrients and many other nutrients that your body needs to function normally in general. So if you consume a scoop of that on a daily basis, you know you have your bases covered, but it's not a substitute period. We want you eating whole foods on a daily basis. This is just icing on the cake, or if you don't, for whatever reason, have access to vegetables one day, you can use it as a replacement. So that's basically what I wanted to share with you guys for vegetables. I know so many people think that if they eat certain foods, they're gonna lose weight or gain muscle or et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't work that way, you guys. It's all about your total calorie and macronutrient intake, which is calories, the energy that your body takes to use for energy and normal daily function, and macronutrients, the distribution of what those calories are made of. So carbohydrates, fats, 
and proteins. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned in this video, drop them in the comments below. Happy to answer them for you. We also answer a lot of questions like this in our free four week challenge. So I'll link that in the first line of description. Also the athletic greens we've talked about throughout this video, we'll link that in the description as well. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and we will continue to make content like this that you asked for. You are the fuel of the Zendu Fitness Engine, so please give us your feedback and we'll continue to make videos that help you get lean and live an awesome life.